a company has yeah. to make money. It exists to make money. And when, what is money? That's a whole nother rabbit trail we can discuss. It's about value. So if we can make a t-shirt for 10 bucks and sell it for 20 bucks, then that means someone deems that worth $20. So we extract that value from the market and then we use that to either fund the company or to make new products or to put food on my table so I can eat, whatever it may be. We're all in that grind of you get the, the life credits that we call money and you put them to work for you in different ways. So ultimately, Take Flight has to make money. And so the idea comes then, okay, how do we make money? And that is actually kind of a multi-pronged thing because I, I don't think that's actually the, the initial question. I think companies exist to make money, but I think that the why a company exists, there's a deeper, there's a deeper answer to that. Um, for example, you could say, if every company exists to make money, but then why does Take Flight not make um, lampshades or um, um, you know insulation for housing or plumbing equipment or something? And so that gets kind of why. Not think about that, but you know, quite a bit about parkour clothing. Exactly right. Exactly right. So it's like, so take flight. Yeah, you say it, and a conglomerate. It has to make money to exist in the same way that, like, you have to breathe. Like we don't, we don't live to breathe as humans, but we have to breathe or we can't live. So that's how I view it. That's how my view is. Companies, people like Kevin O'Leary will say they're there to make money. I don't agree. I, I just think money is like the oxygen or the blood flow that a company needs to survive. And the company is an organism that's there to do something. So anyway, you combine this all together and you say, okay, probably the better we do what we do, the more money we will make, which then empowers us to do better things. And so it's this, I don't have the answers. I'm not a billionaire businessman, but the idea is we want to create a great product. We want great people wearing it. We want those people talking about it. Some more people want to wear our product and we want to take that money and make better products. And we want that to be some cycle, some cycle, cycle, cycle. So a part of that is product development and part of product development are things like financing. And then another part of that is marketing and marketing comes down to things like where are you going to buy? Are we going to buy social media ads? Are we going to give shoes away? Are we going to uh, find affiliate codes? Are we going to post on social media? Are we going to have social media? You know, take flight and porker.com alike don't have Snapchats. Why? Because I decided we don't want them. We don't have TikToks. Why? I don't know. I've decided we don't want them. So, you know, we, you decide where you put your energy and then based on how well you're doing things, which might be the product end, it might be the marketing end, might be the communication end, could be the financing end. That gives you the resources then to do other things better, right? So how come we can't give Dom Tomato a million dollar endorsement contract? Well, because two reasons. Number one, we don't have enough money to do that. We don't have enough energy to do that. And number two, if we had a million dollars, we probably wouldn't give it all to him. We'd probably give some to him if he wanted to work with us. He might not want to. And we might give it to other people. You know, we might spread it out. So there's all these considerations and variables could go into these decisions. And you're bringing up one part of the business strategy, which I think is brilliant. It's work with young up and comers who have energy, who are excited about the brand, who will talk about you, who will create for you. And uh, I think it's a brilliant idea and we'd love to do it.